Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. If you're a regular follower, you know that I'm very passionate about providing a source of water for birds. If you're new to the channel, believe me, I, I, I'll give you reasons and we're going to cover uh, the importance, especially this time of year for migrating birds, uh, why it's so important and ways you can provide water that you may not have thought of before. So try to give you some ideas. But first off, Hydration. Birds need water. Uh, it's been so hot this summer, and right now birds are migrating. And when birds migrate, primarily at night, most songbirds, they're flying at night. And when they land in the morning, they drop out of the sky and they head for a patch of trees to try to refuel and also to rehydrate because flying takes up a lot of your resources, including your water resources. So they have to find uh, a source of clean water. And yes, yes, I know they do drink out of dirty sources of water as well. But uh, I, I, it's just good sense whenever you're providing water for them to keep it clean because birds tend to poop in the water and we don't want to spread diseases that or bacteria that might be in there from one bird to the other. So keeping a, a source of water clean is really important. So what do we do? There are many different ways to provide water. Um, and now what I want to concentrate on today is moving water. Why do we want moving water? Well, there's a couple of things. And, and, and uh, it, for our health and safety, one of the things that come to, to mind right off the bat is this guy. Because mosquitoes will lay their eggs on still stagnant water. And the eggs of a mosquito have to breathe. And so they cling to the surface tension of the water and they don't, uh, they, they actually breathe oxygen. So if you've got moving water, if you're keeping water moving, then those eggs float to the bottom and the mosquitoes can't use your your source of water as a nesting place or breeding place. So that's number one, just kind of from our benefit. But for birds, moving water is so important because those migrating birds, they don't know where water is when they fly, come out of the air. Birds that are on the move, they are constantly looking for sources of water. Well, gurgling sounds and rippling sounds and the shimmering of water, moving water, is a magnet to them. Because, you know, it, and also, of course, water means food, typically, because, you know, like creeks and streams and things like that, there's usually a lot of food associated with the water because other animals need that water to stream in their backyard. It's a four-tier fountain and the water cascades down, uh, pumps back up to the top and it cascades down. And this is a white-throated sparrow in the fall coming in from the its migration from up north. And believe me, this fountain is a true magnet for birds. Now, you can also go with large ponds. And in this case, moving water is provided by uh, a, a bubbler. It sprays the water up into the air and it can be adjusted to height. But this really keeps the water moving uh, and also uh, turns over the oxygen in it because I know in this case, he, he, he called Nick's name, the Kurt calls it his frog pond. And so he's also trying to attract other wildlife, not just birds. But so something large like that. But if you just have a bird bath, you can provide moving water via uh, what we call bubblers and uh, drippers and uh, cascading waterfalls, things like that. So what does this look like? This is like a real granite, but it, of course, it's fiberglass um, and the water pumps up from the bottom. And this is what it looks like out of the box. You have the, the rock that's supposed to look, you know, natural and you've got an aquarium pump that you put, it goes inside of it. So the water in your bird bath or your water feature that you're putting this in needs to be deep enough uh, that, that the, the pump can continue to pump water up. And again, you can set the, the height of the, uh, the amount of what that, that's coming up. So it, sometimes you just a little bit and then it cascades back down and that's enough to keep the water moving and attract birds. Some people like it so that it kind of, um, pulsates up a little louder and and, and and that works as well. Yes, you do need to use an extension cord, outdoor rated extension cord with some black electrical tape around the connection. Uh, and then a lot of people in the fall, they take out, once it starts to get really cold, they'll take this out, then they'll plug their 
bird bath the icer into that same extension cord and, and use it all the way through the winter. So they come in different designs, but this is the bubblers and waterfalls, uh, something you can add to a fairly small bird bath. Some of the things one of the things you keep in mind whenever you're you're talking about uh, you know spraying water up in the air is is that you you're going to splash out water out of your smaller bird bath. So you may need a little bit larger uh, uh, water feature, if you will, a bigger bowl or, uh, that uh, the water can't bubble out of or spray out of. Many, many different birds are attracted to it. This is a, a, a young American red start, female American red start. And this is water bubbling down and the water uh, seeping out of this little pipe, great water feature. Uh, and they, they need to have it. So it, it, it provides, Provides, and, and a lot of these are just improvised. People put together, you know, an aquarium pump with their own rocks and and uh, so that they get this effect and it works really, really well, like I said. Now, you know, cleaning them, you do have to keep them clean. And one of the things that, it, especially when you're doing a lot of rocks and water, you're going to get algae growth. That, that The moving water helps that some, but you're going to have to clean those rocks every so often. Uh, and the, another type is a mister that sprays the water. Um, this is a, 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 this one just attaches to the end of your water hose and you, you hang it up in your landscaping so it sprays out and uh, the birds just sit on the leaves and just let it spray on them. Hummingbirds love this kind of uh, water source for them. So re remember, it, it not only is movie water great for the birds, but it's also great for us because like I said, we don't want the mosquitoes to uh, uh, use your water sources where they can lay their eggs. One of the simplest ways I know to counteract uh, mosquitoes and uh, keeping water moving very simply is the water wiggler. And I'm going to put up a little video. I can't talk to it, but it's only a few seconds long. I'm going to show you one in action. So the water wiggler, it's not electrically run, it's run by batteries. And, and a lot of people are concerned about solar and, and uh, you know, running an extension cord. How can they do it easier? Well, what we find with solar, of course, is solar is limited. Um, if you want your bird bath in the shade where uh, the birds will use it more because of their proximity to cover, um, you're not going to, solar is not going to work for you. It, 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 there are... There are some options on the market. A lot of them don't get very good reviews, but my my deck is very shaded. So my bird bath, it wouldn't work well because there's a lot of shade during the day and a cloud comes up and solar quits working. Where the water wiggler is beautiful and that you just put two D cell batteries in it and it runs. <laughs> it, it, it There's no on off switch and it just twirls and agitates that water like you saw in that video. And that keeps the mosquitoes from laying, being able to lay their eggs on the surface. And the birds love it. That rippling motion, it draws them to the bird bath and it, and it lets them know there's a water source there. So the water for birds, you know how I'm passionate about how important it is and how and it, it's a key part of your backyard oasis you're creating for birds. Food, water, shelter, and water is the most important. So great idea for program. Thanks for sending that in. If you would send in more ideas because you want, I want to talk about what you want me to talk about. So if you like the program, please give us a like, give us a share. And if you're on YouTube and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Until next time, let's talk birds.